Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the ELK stack and how you can work with the uptime monitor. And uh, what can you use the uptime monitor for? A lot of people have uh, have many servers, maybe one UL, maybe 100. It uh, depends on your business model. But uh, a lot of people using uh, a pingdom service to, to track the, the uptime but if you're running the ELK stack, you already have this uh, options and it's completely free. And of course you can use the API after if you want to sending the SMS out on an email if something is going wrong. But to tracking uh, the uptime of, uh, of a URL, you can do it with the uptime monitor in the ELK stack. So that's what I will to show you today. And before I do this, I will ask you to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please make the comments below. And I really hope you want to share this video with your friends. So that's it and let's beginning. The first we want to do is uh, install the, the uptime monitor. I will do it on my Nginx server here. And uh, you, you need to pick a server. You can install a completely new VM and then just uh, install this uptime tracker so it's up to you it's uh, no rules to how to do this and uh, then we need to install it when we have it installed we can go in for uh, going inside to change the data the general file here and uh, the first we want to to do it's uh, the output elastic and we have it here the host name you need to point the host name to your uh, ELK stack so you know uh, why you need to, to sending the data out we uh, we need to change uh, the username and the password my name is uh, elastic and the change me and then we need to go for the to set up Kibena and we need to appoint the right host name for that too. And then the 20. And the last thing we need is uh, the heartbeat monitor. Heartbeat configuration? Nope, we need the heartbeat here. And what we're going to do is uh, type HTTP and then the URLs and this is the list of the URLs we want to, to track and uh, we don't need the the local host we want to say we need to say google.com I can just say type HTTPS and then we need to in case that's my domain and then we need facebook.com and then we can go down here to say every 10 seconds we can make a faster ping and a slower ping it's, it depends up to you we can uh, test connection and data exchange timeout we can add the timeout let's say 16 seconds and that's fine then we can save it and close and we need to set up the, whoops. Uh, the heartbeat setup. It will take a little while. It depends on your systems. And when it's finished, we will starting up a service. And it's already finished. So this is what we're gonna do: start up again. And then we're going back for the ELK uh, stack uh, overview, and we want to home here. And dashboard so let's say uptime um, I think yeah it's in uptime and I think I 
I think maybe this will take a little while before it's uh, working. So that's giving it a little bit of time. And let's see about the services running as it should be. Oh, the emergency status and it's failed to start it up. Okay, so, so the monitor is not correct. Okay, so we need a little bit. I think maybe it's the configuration here. Type HTTP. So let's go in for this one. And it's because I'm doing the wrong way. This one is the, the type of uh, to Kibina. So of course we are using the HTTP, so that's why it's not working when you use HTTPS. And the URLs need the HTTP or HTTPS to working. And that's what we're gonna do, set up and restart here. Let's see the status here and it's running. Let's go back and refresh and now it's working. So sorry. And now you can see something here, it's uh, up and down. I can't put down the Facebook and, uh, and Google and I don't want to put, put down my own website down. So you can just go here and, and see what's happening. So that's how it's working and I'm really happy to have you here today. And uh, I hope you want to subscribe this uh, this channel. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can go in down below in the right corner and press on the thing and then you want to subscribe my channel. I really hope you want to like and share this video. And if you have any questions, please make a comment below. I appreciate to, to get some kind of feedback so I can improve my videos to better to teach out there. So thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye.